Hey there, how's it going? What is up, everybody? Irish Orangutan is back to pass along what you need to know to get better at Madden and grow your Mutt team. Enjoy the show. Today we are back to talk about a few players and legends that will be coming out tomorrow and also the Mutt 10 player that kind of surprised quite a few people today. So I'm very excited to get things kicked off with a player I am absolutely going to be getting tomorrow. He is a tremendous um, just uh, shut down cornerback in Champ Bailey. He's going to come with 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 91 agility, 91 man coverage at 91 overall. He does have 85 zone and 86 jumping to go along with that. He's going to be a top end cornerback throughout the year. I'm very excited. The card that came out early for him is going to be tremendous. I think he's going to be the best cornerback in the game unless you like to press. Press is not my favorite thing. And as soon as I get him on my team, I'm going to have one less thing to worry about. And I'm very excited about uh, when that day comes. Definitely going to get him powered up and potentially get Sprinter added onto him and probably get his Legend card next weekend. I did make a mistake of doing our, uh, getting the Legend card the first weekend a couple of times, and it absolutely decreases in price the second weekend. So I would definitely recommend with that with another promo potentially coming next weekend, or excuse me, next um, end of next week. And the other Legend that will be coming out tomorrow is going to be Troy Aikman. So we have someone to pick off those passes in Champ Bailey. Um, Troy Aikman does come out with a very solid arm for who is out at this point. He also has very good accuracy. So uh, for Cowboys fans and fans um, that can tolerate a non-NFC East quarterback um, or an NFC East quarterback that isn't for their team, excuse me, um, he is going to be an asset potentially. So I would give him a look if you do like pocket passers because he can be tremendous. We just need to check and see where his awareness is tomorrow. The next player that I did want to talk about that got an upgrade and a new card was a rookie premier player that I did acquire last year. Devin Bush gets up to 85 speed um, as a 79 overall middle linebacker. That is an absolute tremendous boost for anyone who did do his card or anyone who is wanting to pick up a cheap player to put at that middle linebacker position. He could be a tremendous fit for you. So something else to note as I started going through some of these players, especially the veterans, the training cost seemingly has dipped significantly to the point where I felt I could pick up Pernell McPhee um, the first day. To be honest, he is a little bit slow and a little bit weak in spots. Um, but he does fit on that Washington theme team, so I'm very excited about um, what we're going to be able to uh, scheme up with uh, all those linebackers that we do have. A 1 4 6 or something like that might be a must um, with Kerrigan, Sweat, uh, McPhee, just a lot of players that can go and get after the quarterback um, from those positions. And we have some pretty fun interior linemen as well. But at 73 speed, 88 strength, 84 power move, it's going to be a little bit of a weak spot against the run. But hopefully you can get after the quarterback up the middle in some uh, situations. Might have to be like a theme team battle where he's really going to have to stand out though to be really honest. I wanted to go through a few budget players that came out this week that can fit around some of those superstars that you do have on your team. This uh, DJ Shark Jr. can be a tremendous streak or go route player. Um, run fades, post, do things tremendously for you while you have your Tory Holt running some uh, slants or quick outs. Just someone to potentially add for under 10,000 coins that could potentially even make a difference on your team. He's not going to be able to go over the middle and make catches like that, but if you use him in specific situations, his 89 jump and being six foot four can really um, allow you to take advantage of specific players. 
At the halfback position, there is a new budget player to go out and get. He does not quite have the agility that you do want, but he does have that straight-ahead speed that can be really, really dangerous. Tony Pollard has 89 speed and 90 acceleration. The rest of his stats are a little bit low. Um, excluding his catch, that's actually not terrible for an 80 overall halfback with that speed, so could be a good budget or change of pace player for you may not be the best weekend league running back but does have very very solid speed for someone of that overall and if you're going up against those dj sharks or even tyreek hills and cannot keep up with them someone you might want to try is dante jackson at 85 overall, his price tag is really not terrible for what you'll be able to get with his 90 speed. He does come with agility that you do really want to see. He has all the physical stats across the board, potentially except for his height coming in at 5'10", but he'll be able to go out and keep up with all those little dodgy wide receivers that you are having issues with. Kyle Juszczyk is another player that I did want to point out just because the run game is so overpowered at this point. If you need someone a little bit faster than Patrick Ricard, he can be a player that can come in and do a little bit outside of the backfield, catching the ball as well as you have seen um, in real life with him on the field. He can do some dangerous things. Um, the only thing is his size is significantly different, and to be honest, I really almost like how slow Ricard is at some points in time, so just some things to think about, but check is a tremendous option, and trading-wise, he's actually pretty solid as well, and um, the best that I have seen so far, it does make sense that those cards a little bit higher up the chain. Uh, do cost a little bit um, less trading wise uh, the same way that it was last year so just something to keep in mind when you are looking through players that these might be good options for that as well but he is a very good option at that halfback position and I am thinking again about getting him yep uh we're going to pass this time. Um, we're trying to keep the coins together for next weekend, but um, I really like where Ricarda is, and we sold off a couple other pieces from the team, and I'm happy someone else was able to go out and get him right as I left. And the last card that I did want to show was this Marcus Peters, who is at 115,000 coins, which is, again, lower than the training that I had seen previously. Um, does make sense that corners are going for less than fullbacks, and this Peters does just fit into specific schemes. He does not have quite the athleticism of that Dante Jackson. Dante Jackson is a quarter of the price, but uh, Marcus's Peters man coverage does stand out above considerable amount of other players, but Jackson actually would probably fit on my team longer than Peters would, even with his man coverage being so significantly better. And the last man we do have to talk about is Megatron, and he is coming into the game as a free safety. It is something that is a little bit scary to see a six foot five uh, free safety that's as fast as almost every wide receiver out there, but it is something that is now in the game. He's coming in with that 91 zone coverage. He, um, is someone that is going to be on quite a few top end teams. He's also going to be a very elite power up player if you just want to go that route. As you can see, I obviously have not invested in the free safeties. I was hoping that Sean Taylor would be coming out potentially in this position, um, but it's kind of nice to see them go out of their way to do something a little bit different with this Megatron, and it just definitely... It feels uh, more like a mutt thing. It is more of a fantasy thing, and it isn't necessarily just regular football. So I'm excited they are going out of their way to continue to do things that are a little bit different. Um, as you can see, he does have some of those offensive stats that do make him elite. His man coverage is very low, but that is the only knock I really have on this card, that 84 hit power 
is a little bit lower for uh, dominant hitting free safety, but that's not really who he is. So that absolutely will do um, for how dominant he could be in shutting down that pass game. If you like running that cover one or like running cover threes, he could be a perfect match for your scheme. I mean, even in cover two, he can shut down potentially a half of the field so he could fit really well in for you there also. So that's what I have for you all today. I wish you all the best and I hope you're able to pick up one of these players at some point along the way. Take care, everybody. Thank you for checking into the Irish Orangutan channel. Keep coming back for more Madden knowledge. That will be consistent videos up every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to see them all. Come by Twitch to engage and hit me up on Twitter at Irish Orangutan. Take care and much love, everybody.